Hi, welcome to the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. My name is Frank Brightson. Today we're going to talk about olive salad. So many unique dishes here in Louisiana, in New Orleans, and one of those is the mufalada, a tremendously delicious sandwich made with a variety of cold cuts and cheeses and olive salad. There are a lot of good brands of olive salad available in the market. I'm going to show you how to make one from scratch. It has a lot of uses, which we're going to talk about. In this bowl here, I have some pitted green olives that have been coarsely chopped. And I did that in a food processor. Just be careful not to overdo it. Uh, and we're going to add a lot of nice fresh vegetables to this. The green olives, I'm going to add some celery, finely chopped, some finely chopped carrots, also some finely chopped red bell pepper. Now if you use stuffed olives, you don't really need the red bell pepper because the olives are stuffed with pimentos, which is a roasted red bell pepper. But I like the crunch from the fresh red bell pepper. Also going to add some seasonings. We're going to add some kosher salt, some dried oregano. Got to have oregano in Italian dishes. I like a little bit of black pepper. And then a little splash of red wine vinegar. Not all olive salads have red wine vinegar, but I give, it gives it a nice little tartness that I like. It's not a lot, but it does make a difference. Keep that stirring. And then we're also going to add, of course, some fresh garlic. And this is quite a bit, but it's a key ingredient to the olive salad. I like a lot of garlic in there. Also, to give it a little bright note, I'm going to add some chopped Italian parsley, flat leaf parsley. And then, finally, some extra virgin olive oil. And for this dish, you really do want extra virgin olive oil because you want that fruity, pungent aroma and flavor from the olive oil. This is really, think of it as a marinade. The vegetables, the olives, everything's going to be marinated in the olive oil and that little bit of red wine vinegar. You see how simple that was? Once everything's chopped, of course. But this is smelling so good. Now, olive salad is an interesting thing. I mean, it's great on a mufalada, but there's a lot of other different uses for it, too. Uh, you can make a mufalada. I like to get a ham and Swiss po' boy and put olive salad on it. It's as simple as that. I call that a francolata. Uh, but there's a lot of other things you can do too, for instance, an Italian salad. How about that? So here I have some iceberg lettuce. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of grated hard-boiled egg, and then some vinaigrette dressing or Italian dressing. We'll toss that together. just to coat the lettuce. And I'll put this in a chilled bowl. And then I like to compose my salad on the plate rather than just putting everything on the plate. So once the lettuce is done, then I'm going to take some cherry tomatoes and coat them with a little dressing. And that way I can place them around the salad. And then we'll top that off with some of our olive salad. There you have a beautiful New Orleans Italian salad. And I'm going to garnish it one more time with a little grated Parmesan and a little bit of our grated hard-boiled egg. A delicious Italian salad. That would be a great starter for a meal or it could be your main course. Delicious. Now, I have one more tip for you on olive salad. And this I got from my friend Pablo. It sounds unusual, because it is, but it's absolutely delicious. The next time you make smothered cabbage, like New Year's Day, fold in a little olive salad at the end. It is fantastic. And that's it. Thank you for joining us in the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen.